The old scoot here coming back at you with another exciting video. So I've gone ahead and basted my turkey now. If you've been following along in this series, what I did was I cooked the turkey for an hour and 10 minutes at 425 degrees Fahrenheit, right? No, never opened the door at all. Just let it, let it do its thing for an hour and 10 minutes, pulled it out. And then we did a temperature reading and what I was aiming for, I'll put links to all the stuff down below in the description, by the way, but what I'm looking for is a, is a temperature in about the thickest part of the thigh. So I go, I go under the skin and then into the meat at the thickest part of the thigh. And I'm looking for a temperature reading of 165. We hit that. I think we were 165, 170-ish, which is totally fine. If you're a little over, it's okay. But if you're a little under, eh, you might want to put the turkey back in for another, you know, five, 10 minutes or whatever and see what's going on. But anyways... Pulled the turkey out. So if I cook the turkey for an hour and 10 minutes, I want to let it rest for half of that time, which is 35 to 40 minutes, give or take, so that the turkey has a chance to reconstitute all this juices. Think of a balloon, right? An inflated balloon. If you, if you start carving into the balloon, you're going to pop the balloon. And it's the same concept with the turkey. You want to carve the turkey after the juices have had a chance to reconstitute. Right, So that way you don't cut the turkey and then all the juices run out. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Anyways, you can baste any time after, after you've taken the turkey out of the oven. So what I did was I went in with the OXO Good Grips baster. I like this one because it, it lays flat. Right, it's got, it's got some feet on the bottom here, so it just lays flat and it doesn't roll around on you. And also the tip comes back up so no juices run out from the end. The tip comes up. That's what she said. Anyways, then I've got my other uh, basting brush here. I'll put links to this down below in the description. But basically it was, I went in here. I went in through the through the hole here. Love this cooling rack, by the way. Poured the juice on, right? And then came back with the basting brush and just painted. It's like painting a picture, right? So if you noticed in the other video, when I pulled the turkey out, the skin was pretty dry and it was pretty crackly. This now is just going to make everything look beautiful so that when your guests arrive or whatever you're doing, your Thanksgiving turkey, it looks nice and gorgeous. Just sitting either on top of the, of the oven like this, cooling and continuing to do its thing. By the way, I don't want to tent this. I don't want to put any tinfoil or anything because what's going to happen is, is then the skin's going to get like soggy and it's going to steam and it's just going to ruin the whole thing. So you just want to leave it uncovered like this half the half the time that it took to cook it. So if I cooked it for one hour and 10, I'm letting it rest for about 35 to 40 minutes or so before I start carving it, which is going to be a whole nother video. But anyways, you get the idea. So dip, right? Dip, suck, spread, right? Then take our brush and paint, right? And just paint your turkey. You get the idea, right? I've already done this, but you get the idea of how it should be. And then just let this rest. When the turkey is in the oven, I'm not basting. I'm not opening that door whatsoever. I want it to have a nice thorough cook. So I based, I based after I pulled the turkey out of the oven. Anyways, if you like what you're seeing, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button down there below. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when future videos come out. Also hit the comment section if you have any comments or questions. Let me get a good thumbnail <laughs> for the video here with our basting brush and everything else. There's going to be our thumbnail for the video. But anyways, you, you get the concept and you get the idea of what we're trying to do here. That That's when you want to baste your turkey. And look at how beautiful and gorgeous this looks. I know there's some subscribers out there that had seen my other turkey videos when I did the whole turkey, which is a whole different process. But this video is for all of you out there that have stayed with me through the years on the channel. There you go. This is what this side of the turkey looks like. In case you want to see what that looks like from this angle. Just showing you all different angles. And obviously we took up less of a footprint or less room in the oven by doing this. Like, Look at how tall. Like This total height here I would say is about... I'd say the turkey itself is about five or six inches, give or take. So with the cooling rack figure, like six to seven inches. So you're, you're taking up way less real estate. Oven is still hot, but you're taking up way less real estate in the oven. Like you could put something down below by doing the turkey this way, the spatchcock turkey. 
Anyways, I will catch you all in the next exciting video. Stay tuned for more Cooter, or the old coot here and stay tuned for more videos.